And thank you. 631 now new this morning and happening today. Advocates and leaders will come together to try and solve Northeast Missouri's housing issues. NECAC will host a housing summit in Hannibal. Attendees will hear about an update on one possible solution, the project to turn the old St. Elizabeth's Hospital into new housing. WGEM's Ryan Hill joins us live now in Hannibal with more details on that plan. Ryan, good morning. Good morning. Now the plan is to turn this vacant building behind me into senior housing. And those of NECAC say the demand for that is high right now. NECAC's Deputy Director of Housing and Development says seniors might be forced to move out of their houses due to age or inability to make repairs. They say there just isn't enough senior housing available and wait lists are long. She says they are still working to get the St. Elizabeth project off the ground, which could benefit more than just seniors. We're in the process now putting in an application to the Missouri Housing Development Commission uh, for 60 senior units at St. Elizabeth's, the old St. Elizabeth's, and then building six single family homes on donated lots in that same general area. She says the grant is worth about $13 million, and Potts says they have $2.5 million earmarked for now from the state, but the governor still has to sign off on it for them to get those funds. They hope to be able to come up with other solutions at this event to help, uh, help improve housing availability for seniors and others. Live in Hannibal, Ryan Hill, WGEM News. Ryan, thank you. That housing summit is today in the Rialto Banquet Hall at 601 Broadway in Hannibal. It happens from 8.30 a.m. to noon. All are welcome to attend. Efforts continue.